Hey guys, long time no see. Um, it's Angie, and let's see, a lot's happened in my life lately. I am getting a divorce, if you don't know. Um, I have a new boyfriend, and he is awesome, and I love him to death. He is great with my girls. Um, but the main thing I want to talk about today is I went to the gym and I haven't been to the gym in I don't know how long and I really need to start going back because I feel great. Um, uh, as you can see, a lot of stuff has changed but still in the same house because I'm not giving up the house. Um, he tried but this is where I grew up and sorry that's where I'm staying. So, um, on to what I was going to talk about. Um, I am at 145 pounds. Um, I still think that I am overweight when I look in the mirror. Um, I don't know if anybody else still thinks after they are at goal, if they still feel overweight. I don't know if it's ever going to go away. I guess it's a whole female thing thinking that we're always bigger than what we are. Um, I don't know. But if anybody else is feeling that way or has any advice, because I know <clears throat> I think a lot of it is the extra skin on my thighs and I really don't have that much on my stomach but and on my arms. I mean, I've got this little bit on my arm, but it still bothers me. Um, yeah, I have muscles. I don't even have to flex, and it's it's there. But um, basically, I just want to know if anybody else still feels that they are overweight whenever they're actually at goal or actually underweight. I've noticed that there's a lot of people that had surgery around whenever I did and some of them look sickly and I know I look sick sometimes but I go in and out of the hospital a lot and my latest one actually was two weeks ago because I had pyelonephritis it was basically just a really bad kidney infection and it did go to my blood and I had to have antibiotics but the thing about it is I have no symptoms ever ever and the only thing that happens to me is I end up blacking out and I don't know if anybody else don't have any symptoms whenever something's wrong with them until it's way too late or whatever but I never have any symptoms whatsoever to tell me that I'm even sick. I don't get a fever. I don't I don't do anything. I don't get sick to my stomach. Um, but I will say that I do get sick pretty much every day, every other day and it doesn't matter what I eat and I'll still throw up. <clears throat> um, I'm chewing. It's just nothing agrees with me, and I'm on the borderline. I have to get blood work done on the 27th of malabsorption. So I am about to have that complication, I think. So, with all the complications that I've had, I still have all my hernias my hiatal hernia, my incisional hernia, my umbilical hernia because the surgeon that I had didn't repair them correctly and I don't think that I'm actually going to get any more surgery. I'm tired of going under the knife. My last one was my breast and I'm very happy with that and if I ever get enough money to pay for the tummy tuck and the thigh lift and the butt lift I will do it but that's going to be years from now. It's not going to be anytime soon. Um, the guy that I'm with now really doesn't care 
it doesn't bother him and I mean I'm comfortable with my body it's just I have days where I look at in the mirror or I look while I'm just sitting in the chair and I just see fat and I don't like it <laughs> and I don't know if my video is lagging because it is whenever I'm looking at it on here but I don't know so um, I am a lot happier now uh, I don't have all this jealousy issues going on um, gosh it, is, it just feels good not having the jealousy issues and being questioned every single day who I'm with and what I'm doing and it's great and he's a really good guy but I think we're better off being friends than being married because we can't handle it now and I know a lot of people go through a divorce after they have the weight loss surgery because the other person can't deal with it and I think with him being gone as much as he's been gone the whole time that I've had the surgery he hasn't been able to adjust and I think that's one of the main problems because I'm a totally different person it's like the old Angie died and it's like I'm this whole new person and I couldn't ask for anything else if anybody would ask me if I would have that surgery again I would probably do the lap band I would not do the gastric bypass just because of all the complications that I've had and a lot of people that are going to be getting the surgery really need to research and find out if that's really what they want to do because there are a lot of things that can go wrong and the more that I talk to people around here with the surgeon that I had there <coughs> especially at the hospital that I go to that I work for they are telling me that everyone is having a very hard time afterwards so research 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 your surgeons research everybody and the ones that I knew that had the surgery through my surgeon before they did fine but I don't know if it's just now if he just doesn't care anymore or what's going on but there's a lot of people that are not really doing very well afterwards and there's a lot of lawsuits going on in my practice suits and <clears throat> I may be one of those coming up so my quality of life has went down but I am still living and doing the most that I can whenever I'm feeling good so I will give you a body shot I just got back from the gym I need to jump in the shower before I work here in 35 minutes so this is my body shot. Um, like I said, I just got back from the gym. I don't know if you can really see. This is my body shot. That's the muscles. Cut my head off. But, and then that's close. Yeah, you can see my boobs. Glad I got them. And a friend of mine just had surgery yesterday to get hers so we are happy with our tatas and I couldn't say anything else better about Dr. Bandak because Dr. Bandak is awesome um I guess I will get off of here now and like I said if anybody else has any suggestions for me whenever I look at myself or whatever it's, it's not every day it's I don't know it's just sometimes I get depressed about it oh and I was diagnosed with bipolar so now I'm on Cymbalta and Lamictal so yeah that's helping a lot too but anyways I will talk to you guys later I love you have a great day bye